What do you require? A most agreeable topic. Or so I hope. Gallarde, you watchers truly are workers of miracles. Given how highly the Casitas speak of you, I suppose it is only a matter of time before you hear it from one of them. Ukaizo was once the most fertile and prosperous island in Deadfire, but it has been lost for over 2,000 years. It is little more than legend now, but some in the Consuelo Mescasitas believe it exists still. As I am now grateful to you. You are an individual of particular discretion. I would ask that you exercise that quality and tell no one of this. Especially your Juana friends. Never let it be said that Dario does not pay a fair price. What do you require? A moment, I almost forgot. Percomplanca, take it and indulge my vanity. It is not as grand as the sails I once made, but my fingers are ever restless. recognize you. You look more death warmed over than Dawnstar. I didn't see you there, Shoddy. Listen, you and your friends should move along. I'm not feeling so good, and I'd hate to get you sick. Nothing a little ginger root and some bed rest won't cure. Please, let me be. Could you use your skill at the Temple of Gone? <laughs> <coughs> Could use it here. There's some sick Raparu in the back. Not much I can do for them now besides keep them comfortable. And safe from the predations of the lawless sort. In my village, the sick went to the other side of the mountain. Is there nowhere deeper you can flee? It's better than leaving them to wander the district. I can give them a dignified death, if nothing else. Because they've got Drowner's Lung. Spreads like gossip and kills even faster. A gift from the Valians. Fills your lungs with fluid. Gets you coughing all the time, trying to clear them. One of my patients coughed so hard, she broke a rib. Eventually, it gets so bad, you can't hack it out. You just lie there, struggling for breath, until you choke on your own phlegm. I heard some Raparu had gotten sick, so I brought them here to care for them. City healers don't come down here. The Raparu have no healers of their own? These people are laborers and fishers. Many aren't even Kahanga. Wound up here after raiders and slavers tore their own tribes apart. Anyway, 
I realized what was wrong when I heard the rattle in their chests, the way they gasped for air. Only cure is an elixir made with pine seed oil. It costs a lot, though not nearly as much as an epidemic. Still, if news of this outbreak gets out, these poor souls will get tossed into the old city. No one with any money in Nekataka spends it on the Raparu. And if the other castes took care of the Raparu, they wouldn't get sick like this. Anyway, there's a cure. You can get nearly anything on Delver's Row. Only trouble is finding it and paying for it. Unfortunately, the children of the Dawn Stars don't have many connections in this part of town. But you do. Not meaning any offense. Just that I know you got contacts on that side of town. Need something? About the only honest one. The Reparo here are treated like garbage. Even made to eat garbage from that scrap heap opposite the lift. Not that I need to tell you. And Dario and his principy scum took advantage of the neglect down here to set up the black market on Delver's Row. All the while, the gullet gets more crowded as tribes from the other islands come to Nekataka. Some are driven from their homes by pirates, raiders, even trading company thugs. Others hear stories of the foreign wealth pouring into the city. What they don't realize is most of it flows between the foreigners and the palace. You all do so like to say that, but if it's true, I haven't seen the evidence. Dario recruits Raparu to sneak things from the dock, report on meetings between traders. I can't blame the Ruparu. Not when the alternative is eaten from a trash pile. But I don't... Difference being, lass. The Ruparu be their customers and confederates alike. To the company bilge barnacles, they be only product. And whenever the city authorities finally crack down, the Ruparu will be caught in the middle. As best we can. Most of us came from Red Saris after the Vorlis plot and the Saints War. Or we were born to families that did. We remember what it's like to scrape by. Some days, I think maybe this is why Aethus brought us to dead fire. So we can do some good. Other days, I'm too damn tired. We tried. But the one away is prize share. Meaning anything we'd give these people has to go through the palace. Akara, it is for the Ranga and the Mataru to feed the tribe. Best I can tell, our food went to the Queen's table. Assuming it didn't rot in the storehouse first. That's a question for Sawin. I'd ask her myself, but I got my hands full here. She's high priestess at the Temple of Gone. Tell her Pitley sent you. She'll listen. Probably. It was as I feared, then. Tell me, how did he die? Was it fast, at least? 
painless. At least, at least he didn't suffer. If the Mataru would only protect us as they ought to, our people wouldn't be prey to those crooks and cutthroat who prowl the narrows like sharks. Thank you for your honesty, Watcher. Few are there who will deliver bad news in all its sorry truth. Speak, and I will listen. It is the light that has led you here. If Peatley sent you, then you've got my ear. But I won't promise what I can't fulfill. We tried. Shipped some shares for charity. God, it's nearly two years back. Had the means to do some real good. But the guards wouldn't have it. Sent it all to the palace to be shared out, proper-like. Never did see it again. Well, sure. I'd be beside myself for a chance to help the Raparu, but... And I mean no offense. I don't know you, stranger. Some folk don't think twice about taking advantage of us faithful. Maybe you're one of them, and I'd be none the wiser. An offering to Eothis could really help our efforts to restore the temple, if you know what I mean. Much obliged for your generosity, friend. Of course, we'd be glad to lend a hand. But how you see our shares reach the Ruparu this time? What makes you think it'll work now when it didn't then? All right. You wind up in the good graces of the Kahanga Royals, you get them to see the light, and I'll get you our food. Do not leave me in suspense, I say. Have you found Matario Cozy? If you have questions, the royal brother will hear you. Shortage, are the Raparu not fed the leavings of the Quaru and Mataru? My sister would call this a test from the gods. It is our role to feed the Raparu, and we do not pass on our duties to outsiders. But I am of a different mind. Nothing pleases Ngati like an unlikely solution, and this is what you bring. Akira, then let it be so. If you have more to say, I am not above listening. Ikera, both topics I know well. My sister would say that Ukaizo is the birth canal of the tribes, and we are destined to return and discover ourselves again. Ask Onikaza if you would know more. She is the family historian. I am the family arsenal. It is the same in the city as anywhere in the Deadfire. Mataru judge our souls at birth and organize us for the survival of the tribe. I am not the first to say it, but Nekataka has more walls than beaches, more roads than clearings, and more people than fish. Nowhere in the city does a Raparu sit around the same fire as a Mataru. Nekataka tests our traditions, I say. <clears throat> what man or woman of the Isles does not? <laughs> Our ancestors built this place. We are the hermit crab who occupies a fallen shell. It is for my sister and her priest to judge the fit. Akira, 
As the largest and most prosperous of the Deadfire tribes, the Kahanga have some authority to speak for the others. I say Onikaza and I are large stones in a tide pool, standing tall as the water rises to our necks. My sister has mastered the diplomat's tongue, and I am foolish to give her frustrations a loud voice. But Ikera, I pray every day that Ngati tests the outsiders against her tallest waves and longest serpents. We agree on much, I say. The prosperity of the Juana, our burden to appease the gods. In the trading companies, Onikaza sees Wodeka testing us, weighing who deserves the isles. I see Ngati sending krakens of gold and iron against our ship, but arming us with a single harpoon.